actually talk to clients, a whole room full of them, face to face instead of on the phone. The idea terrifies me. If I had to do what you do, I would die. Well, I wouldn't die, but it wouldn't be pretty. She shudders. I don't know how you do it. I pick up a wide-toothed metal rake to break up the bigger clumps of dirt. But what does Steve have to do with that? Well, for a sales guy like Hot Steve, I mean, Steve, hold up. Hot Steve? That's what all the women at work call him, so that's who he is in my head. She grimaces. I haven't called him that to his face. Yet. She rolls her eyes. Though he'd probably love it if I did. I can't help laughing at how her mind works. Okay, so, hot Steve. She makes a face. For Steve Lowell to go on a marketing trip, he has to go with an analyst like me. Because what he's really selling is my research. Having great analysts who can make recommendations you can trust is what gets investors to trade with us rather than any other firm. Kate tosses the last shovel full of dirt my way and trades her shovel for a rake. Anyway, if I have to go on a marketing trip and present my research, I want a solid sales guy to go with me. Uh, Steve would do all the glad handing, warm up the room for me, then all I have to do is talk about my stuff, whip out my charts and graphs, and dazzle them with my brilliant insights. That part I can do. At least I think I can. She never stops moving as she delivers this monologue. I'm super impressed by her endurance. For a slim girl, she's strong. But I know I can't do it by myself, she continues. I've been trying to get to know the sales guys. If there's one I can trust to have my back, then I won't be so nervous. That's why I was at your bar that night. Steve was not at the top of my list until he agreed to come and volunteer today, but... Suddenly there's an insistent buzzing sound and Kate drops her rake. It's almost a Pavlovian response. She marches over to pull a small black object from her bag. Dang it. Do you know if there's a payphone somewhere? Is everything okay? She shrugs her backpack over slumped shoulders. My boss paged me. No big deal. Happens most weekends. I point to the building where the main office is. I'm sure they'll let you use the phone in the center. Her knees are dirty and there are a few smudges on her face. I circle a finger in the air, outlining her. And the sink in the bathroom. To my surprise, she waves the suggestion away as she slings her backpack over her shoulder. Oh... Nobody else will be there. As she turns to leave, words tumble out of my mouth. Hey, would you want to get coffee sometime? When she turns back, those Bambi eyes are wide with surprise. Why? Why, indeed. She is not someone I ever saw myself spending time with, but my mouth isn't listening to my brain. I think I'm asking you on a date. Oh, sorry. The guys I work with have really got me on the defensive. The pager goes off again. I gotta go, but sure. How about tomorrow at nine at the Coffee Connection in Harvard Square? Is that too early? No, that's great. Steve and Jess roll up, pulling a wagon with a water cooler. Sorry to abandon you, but Jess got us a new job. I give the bed a final sweep with my rake. No problem. Kate and I did fine on our own. Kate holds up her pager and backs away. And now I'm heading to the office. Can you get a ride home, Steve? Sure. He glances over at Jess. A grin of conquest takes over her face. I'll give him a ride. Nice to meet y'all, Kate calls as she jogs away. I'll see you at the trade show Monday, Steve. Jess hands me a paper cone of water, which I guzzle down. As I'm refilling it, Steve pulls a business card from his pocket. Hey, I told Jess this, but my friend at the casting company's always looking for new actors. Thanks, but like I said, I really only do stage work. Jessica groans. Will, you've got to branch out. I keep telling you a couple commercials and you wouldn't have to bartend. And Kate's right. Look at you. You're so wholesome, you could sell anything. She takes the card from Steve and sticks it in my back pocket. I don't know about that, but thanks, Steve. As they pull the wagon toward another group of workers, I head to the volunteer coordinator to see what else needs doing. All by myself. Which I'm totally comfortable with. So why am I already looking forward to seeing Kate again?